Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules, but there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir.
We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Programmed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. They've seen us. Stop right there! Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sud CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. 
Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Looks interesting. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Swarms have to hide. No monsters. 
No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. <laughs> Human? Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. 
You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night.
aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian Professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Welcome aboard.